Today, I'm going to show you exactly how you can create and deploy your own application using Replit in just five minutes. I'm going to walk through how I think about writing prompts and all the steps and tools I use to build amazing functional apps. So what did I build? I built this meditation timer, and it's maybe a little bit more than a classic meditation timer because it features, you know, techniques like box breathing or like 478. And this is more than just a pretty web app. It's an app that has login. I can log in with my own account and session histories. So I can see all of the different sessions that I completed. And this isn't just for me. It's actually scalable. You can go use this app just like I can. And how did I do this? Well, I started with a prompt. My prompt is just describing what I want to build. It says, help me create a meditation app. It should feature different presets like box breathing or time practices. Do research on popular meditation techniques to incorporate them into our app. The timer should be the core piece of functionality. So do research on techniques for adding a timer to a browser in a way that the user can engage with over longer periods of time. So with Replit, we actually can ask Replit to do research on the app that we want to build. Make the app hyper minimalist to be distraction free and zen. And the great thing about Replit is that there's no setup, there's no installation. You just go to replit.com and you type in your prompt. Now you might be saying, Matt, how did you come up with this prompt? Well, typically they like to think through the following four steps. And those are plan, prompt, perfect, and publish. So what I did was I sat down and I planned out what I wanted my app to do. First, I wanted to be able to select different types of meditation. Then I wanted there to be a timer that I could access as well as some sessions and some storage that I could you know, use to visualize my practice. From there, I started thinking through what I'd need. Well, I want a meditation web app and I want the ability to save sessions and timers and goals. And so what I need is somewhere to store data, a way for people to save sessions, a way for users to log in, maybe some sounds eventually, mobile friendliness, and some other tools that would be nice ways to make sure my app's secure, maybe even a way to sell my app eventually. And these are all things that we have in Replit. So from there, I came up with this prompt. Now, I went to Replit and I started a chat to build my app. So what Replit does is it takes this prompt and then it creates a plan. And we can see the plan right off the bat. Agent's gonna say, hey, I acknowledge this thing. And then it's gonna start doing web research based on the instructions. When agent searches the web, it goes and gets all of the information that it needs to build my app. From there, agent's gonna come up with an implementation plan, and it's gonna list out all of the core functionality that we want. Now, I can edit this or adjust this in any way that I want to before agent actually starts building my application, but it's also gonna design a visual preview of our app. It's really like in real time, gonna start streaming in HTML. And so we can see that, we can kind of see our app getting built in real time now, this is just a plan. This isn't actually the real application, but it's what agent's going to use um, as a visual guide. So once that's ready, I can approve the plan. Agent's going to drop us in the workspace. So once I had the MVP for my app, I started chatting back and forth with the agent. So I'm going to jump into that chat. And the very first thing I asked it to do was add user login and the ability to track meditation sessions. Um, and so as I mentioned at the start, agent integrated Replit Auth with a database. And the database just makes it possible for us to store some of these meditation sessions um, along with some other useful information that our app might have. So now I have the ability to log in, I have the ability to store sessions. What are some other really great things about the workspace? Well, you can use our dynamic intelligence tools, our agent tools, like extended thinking or high power models to give your agent kind of <laughs> extra power um, or the ability to think longer or harder on these problems. So that can be useful when you're building out more complex functionality. I'm gonna to toggle these off for now. Now, the other super useful thing about the workspace are checkpoints and rollbacks. And every so often you'll see agent make a checkpoint. You can think about that exactly like a checkpoint in a video game. It's like a safe spot that you can always go back to if you change something about your project that you don't like or there's an error. And so really with that in mind, you can experiment and try out new features that you wouldn't otherwise. So we have checkpoints here at any time I can see all of my checkpoints in the history pane. And I can roll back to one of them by just clicking the rollback button. Now we'll get this confirmation screen and I can load an interactive preview to see exactly what my app looked like at that point in time, or scroll down and roll back my files, my agent memory, and even the data that I've stored in my application. Clicking rollback will change the entire workspace, the entire environment 
back to the way it was before. But I'm not going to do that right now. Now, if you're looking for a more visual way to edit your application, our new visual editor allows you to click and edit text directly in the canvas. And then you can save those to apply them immediately. You can also do things like change the padding or the spacing between elements. So if I wanted to kind of change the um, horizontal padding of these elements, I could click and edit that directly. Uh, and this is a really great way to edit your app without having to go into code or even send a prompt to agent. And once it was ready, I deployed my app to Matt is Zen. And then I actually used our domains tool to buy a new domain, Matt is Zen, link it to my application. And then I just had this URL deployed out of the box and I could open that up and my app's already here at the custom domain. And end to end, that process took about 15 minutes. So I was able to take an idea that I had, turn it into something real and then share it live on the internet. And that's the future of building. And I promise that even if you've never built anything before, you can do this too. So hopefully I showed you some of the useful tools in the Repl workspace, some of the useful things about building with Agent to help you understand why it's a little bit different than the other tools out there. Again, my name is Matt. Until next time, peace.